بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اهله وصحبه اجمعين تفسير الصادي تفسير الكريم الرحمن في تفسير القران ا باب الرحمن بن نصر الصادق رضي الله عنه سر الدين الخطاب يريد به هذا الخطاب ان تري ويريد سوره القمر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر وإن يروا آيات يريد ويقول سير المستمر وكذبوا واتبعوه وكل أمر مستقل قد جاءهم من أنباه ما في مزجر حكمة بارمة فما تغني النذر The how has drawn nigh and the moon has split but whenever they see but whenever they see a sign they turn away and say innocent magic they deny the truth and follow their own whims and desires but every matter will reach its inevitable conclusion surely they have come to them stories of other nations that should shall, that, that should serve that should serve to deter them in which there is profound wisdom but the warnings are of no avail here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the how which is the resurrection has drawn nigh and its time is, is at hand yet despite that these disbelievers still deny it and are making no preparation for its arrival although allah is, allah is showing them great signs of its approach that should make people believe one of the greatest signs of the truth of the message brought by muhammad ibn abdullah is that when the medis was reminded that he showed them miracles to prove the soundness and truthfulness of the message that he brought he pointed to the moon which which i was which by allah's leave is split into two one half of the over over the mountain of abu kubais and the other over the mountain of kuwaiki uh, kuwaiki an uh, the police and others saw the secret sign which occurred in the upper rim where no human could create illusions by means of magic they saw something the like of which they had never seen or even heard of happening the previous messengers they were shocked by it but fate did not enter their heart and allah did not will and allah did not will good for them so there is there so there is they resorted to their regular way of false accusation and transgressions saying muhammad has bewitched be, be, be us but the sign of the having truly happened was to ask travelers who come to you and um, if he was able to bewitch you he will not be able to bewitch those who are not present like you so they asked every traveler who came to the city and they told them that they had seen that but they still said in 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 say in say santa magic that is muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has bewitched us and has bewitched the others these are accusations that nobody could be fooled back by except the most foolish of people the most misguided and most uh, lacking in reason they did not only deny these signs rather they denied every sign that come to them for they were prepared to counter the signs with falsehood and reject them hence allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, but whoever they see a sign they turn away this this does not refer only to the splitting of the moon rather they reject every sign and have no intention of following truth and guidance their only aim is to follow their whims and desires hence allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they deny the truth and follow their own whims and desires this is like the verse in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says but if not respond to you they know that they only follow their own desires if their own if, if their aim was to follow through guidance they will fortunately have followed have believed and followed muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them at his, at, his, at his science clear signs proof and definitive evidence but every matter will reach its inevitable conclusion that is until now that this matter has not reached its conclusion but it will, but it will do but it will do so then the believer will be enjoying the guidance of bliss and the forgiveness and pleasure of allah whereas the disbeliever will be subject to the pride and punishment of allah forever and ever Aina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says explain that they have a no valid aim and are not fooling following guidance. Surely they, they, they have come to them stories of the other nations. That is stories of earlier and later nations and clear miracles that they should that they should, that they should serve to data them. That is they should data them from their, this era and misguidance in which there is profound wisdom. From Allah that establishes his proofs against the disobedient and no one has any argument against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after the coming of the messengers but the warnings are of no avail. This is like the verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says valid those against whom the decree of your Lord is fulfilled will not believe even if every signs were to come to them until they see the for themselves the pain for punishment. Ayna'am fatawallahum yom yadudda ila shay'un nukur khashiyan absarhum yakuruj min ajit kanum yuradun muntashir mutin ila dahi yakuru al-kafir hada yom nasir. So turn away from them on the day when the caller calls them to something terrible 
with the icy downcast. They will come forth from their graves like swimming locusts, rushing headlo headlong towards the collar. The disbelievers will say this will be a hard day. Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it has become clear that there, there is no way the disbelievers will be guided, so there is no opinion left to turn away from them, so, so turn away from them and wait for the momentous day and terrible horror to befall them. That will be when the caller, namely Israfil, uh, alayhi wa sallam, calls them to something terrible, that is to something awful that people will be scared of, and nothing more terrible and more distressing than, uh, than it uh, has ever been seen is Rafael sound a blast on the trumpet at which the dead will emerge from their graves for the final judgment with eyes downcast because of fear and dread that has reached their hearts uh, their eyes will be down cost humbly for that reason they will come forth from their graves like swarming locusts uh, in arm that is because of their large numbers and their movement, they will resemble a swarm of locusts. They, they will resemble a swarm of locusts covering the earth with their huge numbers, uh, re, uh, rushing headlong towards the caller. That is sustaining response to the call of the caller. The, the, the response to the call of the caller is indicated that the caller will summon them in arm and, and command them to attain the place of gathering on the day of resurrection. And they will answer the, his call and ask them to respond to it. The deceivers whose punishment has come will say this will be a hard day. This is like the verse in which Allah SWT says, not easy for the disbelievers, uh, I am. What this implies that it will be easy for the disbelievers. وَكَدَّبَتْ قَبْلَهُمْ قَوْمًا نُوحِ فَكَدَّبَ بْدَانَ وَقَارُ مَجْمُونَ وَسْجُرَ فَدَا رَبُّهُ أَنِّي مَغْلُومٌ فَانْتَصِرْ فَتَعَنْهَا بُوَابَ سَبِمَائِنْ مُنْحَمِرْ وَفَجَرَ عَلُونَ أَسْفَلْتَ قَلَمَا عَلَى أَمْرٍ كَتُخُذِرْ وَحَمَلْنَاهُ عَلَى دَاتِ الْوَحَدُ سِرْ تَجْرِي بِأَوْنِ so help me. So we opened the gates of heaven with water pouring down in, in, in torrents, and we caused the earth to burst forth with the springs. Then the waters met for a purpose that had already been decreed. We carried him on a vessel made of planks and nails, sailing under our watch, watch, uh, watchful eyes, a recompense one who had been rejected. But we have left it as a sign, uh, is, there, is there then any who will pay heed? And then how were uh, my punishment and my warnings? We have indeed made the Quran easy to understand and remember. Is there then any any who will pay heed? Have you mentioned the situation of those who rejected his message and that the signs did not benefit them or have any impact on them at all? Allah SWT warns them and alerts them by mentioning the punishment of past nations who rejected the messengers and how Allah destroyed them and sent his punishment upon them. Allah mentions the people of Nu, the, the first messenger whom Allah sent to people who worship idols and he called them to affirm the oneness of Allah and to worship him alone with no part of society but they refused to give up politicism and, and said uh, to one another, do not forsake your God, do not for sake what? Suwa Yaqut 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 and Nasr. No kept on calling. No kept on calling them to Allah by night and by day, in private and in public. But that only increased them in stubbornness, transgression, opposition, and criticism of their prophet. Hence, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says here: They rejected our slave and said he is a madman because they claimed that what they had, what they and their forefathers followed of politicism and misguidance was what was supported by reason, and that what Nuh Alayhi Salam brought was ignorance and misguidance that could only come from those who were insane. But they were lying and turning upside down facts that were proven according to religious teachings and national thinking. What he brought was the savage truth which which guides enlightened and sound thinking minds of true guidance, light and maturity. Whereas what they were following was ignorance and claims guidance. And he was rebooked and written. That is, his people rebooked him and told him of what when he called them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they did not stop and not at not, at not believing in him or at rejecting him. They went to great length in trying to harm him as much as they could. This is how all the enemies of messengers were aware and uh, how they treated their prophets. At that point, Nu called upon his Lord, saying, I'm overwhelmed and I cannot, and cannot stand up to them because no one among his people believed except by very few, but they had no strength to resist his people. So help me, O Lord, against them. According to, an, to another verse, he said, My Lord, do not leave on earth a single living soul from among the believers. Allah answered, I am. Aywa, he said, Ani, Aywa, he said, My Lord, do not uh, leave on earth a single living soul from among the disbelievers. This is Ranu, verse, uh, verse 26. Aywa. Allah was done.
Allah answer this request and help him against his people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us here, so we open the gates of heaven with water pouring down as in torrent. That is great, uh, a great deal of water pouring down and we cause the earth to burst for the springs. So the heavens began sending down an extraordinary amount of water and the earth burst uh, for the springs. Then the, then the waters, na'am. Namely, the waters of the heaven and the waters of the earth met for purpose that have already been decreed by Allah. In other words, Allah has ordained it and decreed it from eternity as a punishment for those strangers and evildoers. We carried him on a vessel made of planks and nails. That is, we saved ourselves, our, 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 our slave Nu on the, on the ark it was made of planks and uh, nails. In other words, it was made of planks that were held together with nails at selling and our watchful, our watchful eyes. That is, it is sailed with Nu and those who believed with him and the and different kinds of creatures that uh, he took on board with him under the care of Allah who protected them from drowning for he is the best protector and the best disposer of affairs I recommend for one who had been rejected that is we did, we did what we did for Nu, saving him from the worst worst drowning and, and as, a, as a recompense for him after his people had rejected him and disbelieved in him but he patiently persisted in calling them and continued to obey the command of Allah from which no one could deter him or stop him this is like the verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says of him to say oh no they disembark dis, dis, uh, with safety granted by us and with the blessings upon you and some of the communities who will bring uh, will, 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 will spring from those who are with you it may it may it may be that it may be it may it may be that what is meant is we destroy the people of no and we did and and, and what we did to them of, uh, of uh, punishing and, and disgracing them as a requital for their disbeliefs and spot stubbornness but we have let it uh, we have left it, uh, left it as a sign is there is there is there then any who will pay heed that is we have left the story of no with these people as a sign so that people may pay heed and realize that whoever disobeys the messengers and stubbornly rejects them Allah will destroy them with the widespread of severe punishment or it may be that the, the, the pronoun uh, it refers to the ark and ships in general and Allah taught his uh, slave uh, his slave knew alayhi salatu salam how to make them the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left, the, left that craft among the people as an indication and a sign of his mercy and care for his creation and of his great might is there then who will pay, will pay heed that is is there any who will pay heed the signs pay attention or reflect upon them for they are very clear and straightforward <laughs> Then how are my punishment and my warnings? That is how do you see my the punishment, the the painful punishment of Allah and His warnings, which left no excuse for anyone. We have indeed made the Quran easy to understand. And remember, is there is there then any any who will pay heed? That is, we have made the words of this holy Quran and easy to memorize and recite, and we have made its meaning easy to understand and know because it is the best of its speech in wordings, the truest in meaning and the clearest in interpretation. So for everyone who reads it with focus of mind, Allah makes it easy for him to attain what he seeks of knowledge. Understanding and remembering includes everything that those who seek uh, the, 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 those who seek knowledge went to know of what is lawful and, uh, and unlawful, commands and prohibitions, uh, rulings of requital, exhortation, uh, and the stories from which uh, to learn solutions, what uh, one needs to know of the true beliefs and true stories of the past and future. Hence, knowledge of the Quran in terms of both memorizing and understanding is the easiest of knowledge and the noblest of all branches of knowledge. It is, the ben it is, it is, it is beneficial knowledge which, is, which if uh, a person seeks it, he will receive divine help to attain it. One of the early generations and concerning this, as I said, concerning this verse, there is no seeker of knowledge, but he will, develop, he will be divinely helped to attain it. Therefore, Allah calls his slaves to study the Quran and pay heed to its uh, contents by saying, Is there then who will pay heed? كَدَّبَتْ آدٌ فَكَيْفَ كَانَ عَذَابِ وَنُدُرْ إِنَّا أَرْسَلْنَا لَيْهِمْ رِيًّا سَلْسَرًا فِي يَوْمِ النَّاسِ الْمُسْتَمِرِ تَنْزِيءُ النَّاسَ كَانَهُمْ عَجَازُ النَّخْلِ مِنْ قَهِرِ فَكَيْفَ كَانَ عَذَابِ وَنُدُرْ وَلَقَدْ يَسَرُ قَدْرِ فَحَلْ مِنْ مُذَكِّرٍ And I disbelieved then how were my punishment and my mornings so we sent against them a furious cold wind on, uh, on and 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 remittingly in 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 a spurious in a spurious day which swept the people away as if they were trunks of of uprooted palm trees uh, then we how were my punishment and my warnings uh, we 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 have indeed made the quran easy to understand i remember is there then any who will pay heed Ainam. adwa adwa well known tribe in yemen to whom allah sent hood alayhi salatu salam to call them to affirm his oneness and worship him alone but they rejected him, so Allah sent against them a furious cold wind. That is a very powerful wind, and 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 a string and and.
and and remittingly and in in a, in a special and special day that is a day that a day that brought uh severe punishment and misery upon them and and remittingly the punishment lasted for seven consecutive nights and eight consecutive days which saved the which which saved the people away uh because it was it was so strong and fierce it lifted them up to the sky then hurled them down to earth and destroyed them thus they become as if they were trunks of uprooted palm trees that is as if their bodies after the destruction were like the hollow trunks of palm trees that had been struck by the wind and fallen to the ground how worthless people are to allah if they dis if they disobey his commands then how were my punishment and my warnings by allah it was a painful punishment and the warnings left no excuse for anyone we have indeed made the quran easy to understand and remember is there then any who will pay heed Allah repeat this prayer out of mercy and care for his slaves as he calls them to that which is in their in, in best interest in this world and in the hereafter. Kaddabat Tamud bin Nudur faqala bashara minna wahidan natab inna idan la fidral wa sur aw luki alayhi dhikru min wina balha kaddab ashar sanu wadan malik kaddab ashar inna mursunna katna kati fitnat Allahum fast fartakibu wa sabir wa nabihun al maqisatun bainam kullu shirr muqtad muqtadar faduq fa ado saibum fatata fa akhar fa kayfa kana adabi wa nudur inna arsalna lihim sayatan wahidan fa kanu kaashin muqtadar wa laqad yassana fa dhikri fa hal min mudhakir ayna tamud rejected the main warnings they said what are we to follow a single human from among ourselves then we will surely have fallen into error and madness as the message had been sent to him alone out of all of us nay he is an insolent liar tomorrow they will know who, who the insolent liar is that we are sending the she camel as a test for them so watch so so watch them o sale and be patient and tell them what them uh, and tell them that the water is to be shared between them each will be allowed to drink in turn but they called their companion and, and, and he seized the she and the, the she camel and hamstrung her then how were my punishment and my warnings barely we sent against them a single blast and they became like dry sticks collected to build a pen for livestock we have indeed made the quran easy to understand and remember is there is, is there then any who will pay heed Tamud, who are, who are the well-known tribe in the land of Al-Hijr, rejected the warnings of their Prophet Sallallahu when he called them to worship Allah alone with no pattern or resist, and warned them of the consequences if they disobeyed him. But they rejected his message and were arrogant towards him. They said out of arrogance and insolence, what are we to follow a single human who from among, from among ourselves? That is how, how, that is how can we follow a human and not an angel? Who is, from, who is from among ourselves and not from eh, among others who are greater than us, uh, us in people's view. Furthermore, he is just one man. Then, if, you, if we follow him in that case, we will surely have fallen into error and awareness. That is, we will be lost and doomed. Those words is esteemed from their misguidance and righteousness, for they were written to follow a human, a human messenger, but they were not written to worship trees, rocks, and images. Has the messenger been sent to him alone out of all of us? That is, how could Allah sing out? Uh, how could Allah sing out? Uh, from among us and send him the, send the message down to him what makes him so, so special out of all of us is an objection on the part of the disbelievers to Allah and they kept on presenting this argument and rejecting the call of the messengers on the basis of thereof Allah responded to this special argument by means of what the messengers say to their, to their, to their, to their, to their nations uh, Inam. The messengers say to them, "Indeed, we are we are but human beings like yourself. But Allah bestows His favor upon whoever He wills of His slaves. Allah blessed the messengers by bestowing upon the, the, them sublime attributes and characteristics that made them fit to convey the message of their Lord and be chosen to receive His revelation. By His mercy and wisdom, they were human beings. For if they had been uh, angels, humans would not have been able to learn from them. If Allah had caused them to be from among the angels, He would have hastened the punishment for those who despise." believe in them the intention behind those these words that uh, tamud said to their prophet sallallahu was a rejection of him hence they judged him in an unfair manner and said 
ne he is an insolent liar that is he tells many lies and does a great deal of evil may allah cast them how foolish and evil they were and how badly they confronted the sincere people with insulting words it is no it is no wonder that allah punished them when they were too far in transgression allah sent the sheikh camel which was one of the greatest blessings that he bestowed upon them one of the signs of allah he milk he her milk was sufficient for all of them as a test for them that is a trial for them so watch them most silent be patient that is be patient in calling to them in calling them watch and see what happens to them and see whether they will be believe or disbelieve and tell them that the water is to be shared between them tell them that the water source from which they drink is to be shared between them and the she camel she is to drink on one day and they are to drink another day according to a set of a schedule each will be allowed to drink in turn that is the one the, that is the that is um that is the one who stand in who, who, whose uh, turn it may be go there and the one who turn is it is not to be kept away but they call their companions com companion who was the one who actually hamstrung the she camel he was the most rich member of the tribe and he see the she camel and hamstrung her doing what they threatened him to do then how are my punishment uh, and my warnings uh, they were severe indeed allah sent against them a blast and, uh, and an earthquake that they destroyed them to the last man but allah saved sally and those who believed uh, with him we have indeed made the quran easy to understand and remember is there then any who will pay heed allahumma sallim sallim كذبت قبلهم كذبت كذبت قوم قوم لوط من نذر ان ارسلنا لهم حسب الا لوط نجينا من سحر ديما في عندنا كذا الذي من شكر ولقد نرهم بسنا فتمروا بالنذر ولقد ردوا ان يدفع فتمروا ان يفدوا قواد ابي ونذر ولا سبب بكر تعالى مستقيم فدوا قواد ابي ونذر وقد يسنوا دري فهل من مذكر the people of lot rejected the warnings we sent against them a violent call of a violent squall a squall of pebbles which destroyed them all he said the family of lot we delivered them before 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 dawn by our grace that we do we reward those who give thanks he had indeed warned them of our punishment on earth but they adopted the warning they demanded that he let them have their way with the guests so we blended their eyes saying test my punishment and my warnings early in the morning our lasting punishment overtook them test my punishment and my warnings we have indeed made the Quran easy to understand and remember is there then any who uh, will pay heed the people of Lut rejected the warnings when Lut alayhi salatu wasalam called them to worship Allah alone with no partner or associate and he forbade them to associate ascribe partners to Allah or commit shameful deeds that were unpre unpre unprecedented among other nations but they rejected him and represented their politicism and he forbade this to the extent that when the people of Lut heard about the angel also come to loot in the guest in the, in the use of guests uh, guests they come rushing uh, wanting to commit shameful deeds with them and demanding demanding that he, he let them have their way with them so allah commanded jibril sallallahu alaihi wasallam to blind their eyes with his wing and their prophet warned them of the of the punishment of allah but they adopted the warnings early in them in the in the morning a lasting punishment overtook them all over over overturned their houses on top of them turning them upside down and he followed that with with a shower of stones of baked clay one after another especially especially marked and kept with their lord for the evil doers but allah saved 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 loot and his family from that great distress as a reward to them for their gratitude to their lord and their worship of him alone with no partner or associate اي نعم ولقد جاء ال فرعون نذر كذبوا بياتنا كل يا فاقدناه غير زين مثير اكفار وخير من لايكم لكم براءه في الزبر ام يكون انه جميل منتصر سيهزم الجمع ويدلون الدبر بل الساعه موعدهم والساعه ادها وامر ان المجرمين في دار وسور يوم يسبون في النار وجوههم دم وسقر ان كل شيء خلقناه بقدر وما من الا واحد كرهم البشر وقد خلقنا شيء يكون فعل من مذكر وكل وكل شيء فعل في الزبور وكل صغير وكبير مستدر ان المتقين في جنه ونهر في مقعد عند ملك المقتدر uh, Indeed, warnings come to the people of Pharaoh. They rejected all of our signs, so we seized them with the vehement grip of one who is mighty, uh, omnipotent. Are you are, the, are you are you are disbelievers of Christ better than those, or have you been promised immunity in the earliest creatures, or do they say we are a united group? 
a bond to prevail, this group will be defeated and they will turn and flee. What is more, the Hawa is the, is the appointed time, and the Hawa will be more uh, calamitous and more bitter. Very devoduous are in area and will be in the raging fire. On the day when they when they will be reared in the, in the in the fire on their faces, it will be said to them, take the, uh, the agony of hell. Verily, we have created all things according to our de determined uh, measure. Our command is but a single word which is, which is fulfilled like the twinkling of an eye. We have destroyed many of, uh, of our nation like yourself. Our courage is there then any who will pay heed. Everything, everything they did is recorded in the books of their of the, of, uh, in the books in the books of their deeds, and everything uh, small or great is written down. Uh, Verily, the righteous will be in the midst of gardens and rivers, seated in the seated in honor in the presence of a, a sovereign omnipotent. Indeed, warnings come to the people of Pharaoh. Allah sent Musa to them and uh, supported him with the clear signs and irrefutable miracles and caused them to witness signs that he had never caused anyone else to witness by rejecting all the signs of, of Allah. So he seized them with the vehement grip of one who is mighty, omnipotent, and drowned them in, in the sea, him and his troops. Uh, the purpose behind recounting these stories is to warn the people and those who disbelieve in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi hence Allah says uh, are you are, are you disbelievers or Christ better than those that is are those who, who are those are these people who rejected the best of the messengers better than those uh, those disbelievers whose destruction Allah tells us about and describes what happened to them um, if they are better than than them then they will uh, then they could be saved from the punishment and they will and they will not before and uh, befall them that which befall those this those evil people but that is not the case if they are not worse than them then they are not better than the, them either or have you been promised immunity in the in the in the earliest creatures that is has Allah given you a promise and a covenant in the scriptures that he that that he sent down to the prophets so you believe that you will be saved on the basis of a promise from Allah this is not the case in fact it is not even possible according to reason or according to the text for them to have been granted immunity in the divine in the individually revealed books that are based on justice and wisdom it is not wise for people such as such as these people stab on disbelievers who rejected the best of the messengers and the nearest of them uh, to Allah to be saved so so there is not Nothing left for them but to have their own strength which to prevail. And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that they said we are not a group born to prevail. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us uh, tells uh, says highlighting their weakness and the fact that they will be defeated. This group will be defeated and they will turn and flee. And that happened as he foretold. Allah defeated their great gathering on the day of Al Badr and killed many of the leaders and prominent figures that they were humiliated. And Allah granted victory to his religion, his Prophet, وسلم, his party, the, and his party, the believers. Moreover, they will, they, they, they will have an appointed time where the first and the, and the last of them will be gathered together, as, as will those among them who suffer in this world and those who enjoy the pleasures of life. And Allah says, What is more, the Hawa is their appointed time when they will be requited and, and scores will be settled with them on the basis of justice and the how will be more cala, calamit, cala, cala, calamitous and more bitter that is it will be more serious more difficult and more distressing than anything one could imagine or that could possibly cross one's minds cross one's mind very they even do they will do us that is those who committed a lot of evil deeds and grave sins such as ascribing patronage to allah and other acts of disobedience are in are in error and will be in raging fire they are misguided in this world straying from knowledge and straying from righteous deeds that could save them from divine punishment and on the day of resurrection they will find themselves suffering a painful punishment in the fire that will rage around uh, around them and burn their bodies until it reaches their, their hearts on the day when they will be dragged in the fire in the fire on their on their faces the face the face is the face is the noblest part of the body where pain is felt more intensely than pain elsewhere in the body thus they will be humiliated and, 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 dis and disgraced and it will be said to them test the agony of hell that is test the pain of the fire and its anger rage and flames in um, but we have created all things according to our, to our determined measure this includes all creatures in the upper and lower rims allah alone created them and they have no created other than him no one had any share in their in their creation Allah created them according to a decree of which he had prior knowledge and that had been written to him by his pain with regard to its timing and a predetermined measure and all its characteristics and qualities. That is, that is easy for Allah. Therefore he says, our command is but a, but his command is but a single word which is fulfilled like, like the twinkle of eye when he wills a thing. He merely says to it, be and it is as he, he wills. 
uh, it like the twinkle of an eye with no resistance or reluctance on the part of the being in question. We have destroyed many many nation many 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 a nation like yourself of the previous nation who did this who did who did who who did, did such as you have done and disbelieved as you have disbelieved. Is there any then is there then any who will pay heed? That is, uh, the, the, is there anyone who uh, will pay heed and realize that Allah's way of dealing with the earlier and later generations is the same, and that just as he as his is that that, that uh, the earlier evildoers be destroyed, these people are just like them, and there is no difference between the two groups. Everything they did is recorded in the books of their deeds. That is all that they have done, good or bad, is already recorded against them in the books of their deeds. Uh, and everything, or small or great, is written down. This is the reality of the divine will and decree that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows all things and has written them down with him in Allah, al mafud Whatever Allah wills happens and whatever he does, not will, does not happen. Whatever befalls a person who could not have missed him, and whatever misses him could not have befallen him. Very the righteous who fear Allah by doing what he commands and refraining from what he forbids, who avoid the question of patronage to Allah and sins, and sins uh, both major and minor will be in the midst of gardens and rivers that is, uh, they will be in gardens of bliss in, in which there is, there is that which no eye has seen, no, no ear has heard, no has it ever crossed the mind of a man, such as a fruitful trees, flowing rivers, lofty palaces, elegant houses, delicious food and drink. They are beautiful hur and the splendid gardens in paradise, the good pleasure of the sovereign judge, and attaining closeness to him. Hence he says, seated in honor in the presence of a sovereign omnipotent, after that do not ask about what their Lord will give them of honor and generosity, and what he will bestow upon them of immense uh, blessings. May Allah make us among them, and not deprive us of the best of what which, uh, uh, and, the, uh, and not deprive us of the best of that which is with him. Because of our evil deeds is the end of the commentary on Surah Al-Kamar. All praise and thanks are for Allah. And may the praise and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his family and his